everyone and welcome to my channel if you are new welcome back to all my returning subscribers so i'm excited to do this video because in my last video you guys seen how to sublimate a 20 ounce skinny tumbler using a convention oven and in today's video i will be showing you how to do the same thing but with a 16 ounce frosted tumbler so i will be putting all the information as far as temp and time and height and width for the design on this cup i will be using the shrink wrap into this video because in my last video i didn't use it i wanted to see how it sublimated the tumbler without the shrink wrap but for today's video i will be using the shrink wrap for this i do not have a heat gun but i've seen some videos where they just place the shrink wrap over the cup and once they place it inside the convention oven it shrinks itself so we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to see the final look on this frosted cup so stay tuned i'm preheating my convention oven now at 375 degrees for about 15 minutes and while this is preheating i have my image printing out and then i'm going to show you guys the design i'm going to be using for the cup and i'm going to go ahead and cut it and we're going to be using my heat resistant tape and then like i said we're going to go ahead and put the shrink wrap on top of it as well my design has printed out again i'm going to put everything with and the height the temperature and the time is going to be in my description box but this is the design that i'm using make sure that you mirror your image you always want to mirror your image and then you always want to clean your cup either with alcohol or a lint roll okay so we're going to go ahead and place this here so that we can measure it make sure it's centered and once we like where it's at, we are going to go ahead and use the heat resistant tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some tape out. And you wanna make sure that there's no air bubbles or anything you wanna pull as tight as you can. You can um, make it a little bit wider so that it's, it's touching, but I always like to do my cups like this to just have a little bit of space right here. Okay, guys, so I truly apologize. My phone did the same thing it did to me on my last video where I thought I was recording. I, after I taped it up with the heat resistant tape, I did add some masking tape around it as well. And I did put the shrink wrap over it. And because I don't have a heat gun, I just put it in there because I've seen others do the same thing and it actually shrinks itself. So I already went ahead and flipped it. We're doing a total of eight minutes at 375 degrees. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but the shrink wrap is ripping up a little bit. I hope that's okay. If you guys used shrink wrap before and this, is ha this has happened to you, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this and we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. Well, I think I can actually, yeah. I'm gonna remove the wrap. You wanna have both gloves on. I just have one, just make sure because it is gonna be hot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna remove the paper. Okay, so it has completely cooled off. We're gonna go ahead and remove the paper and the tape. Okay guys, and there you have a perfect frosted tumbler sublimated in the convention oven. I absolutely love how it came out. I'm gonna give you guys a better view because I feel like the glare is not doing justice. So just give me one second. So there you have it guys. I had so much fun using the convention oven again to sublimate on this cup right here. And I'm actually gonna stick to using this convention oven to sublimate on my cups because like I told you guys before, my tumbler press that I have throws out a horrible smell. And I know I can purchase a new one or I can use an actual sublimation oven, but the convention oven works perfectly fine. And I only paid $20 at my local thrift store. So guys, if you are trying to do sublimation and it's your first time and you don't wanna invest into a tumbler, you can find an affordable convention oven and it can be used because you can just clean it up once you convert it though remember that you cannot put food in there it's just strictly for your cups okay so this is how it came out everything will be in the description box below and then also i didn't notice that my phone stopped recording but i did use the silicone cup holder from timo and then i also used the pincher perfect from timo as well i use this so that it can give me extra support for my cup. And then I also use this so that it can guide me through with pinching the paper tight enough. 
on the cup so that I can be able to go ahead and add the heat resistant tape on it. So if you do not have this, I highly recommend for you to get it. You can get it at Timu, you can get it on Amazon, whichever you prefer, but I did purchase these on Timu. And I have other items that's coming and I will be showing you guys, I will be doing another video because I'm gonna be sublimating on some things that I purchased from Timu as well. And while filming this video, guys, a lot happened throughout the video process. Number one, my phone stopped recording. Number two, as I was preheating the convention oven, I have a bin where my DTF powder is in and it just fell off the table completely, everything on the floor. So it was, a, <laughs> it was a process trying to film this for you guys, but I still managed to film it. And I actually was not gonna post this video because I thought it was just gonna be just a horrible setup going on, but I managed to pull through. And even though some parts of this video did not record, you guys seen the main parts, which was me, you know, using the convention oven to sublimate on this cup. And as you can see, it came out so nice and beautiful. I actually made this cup for someone who I am subscribed to on YouTube, who's a mom to be. I have been following her journey. I wanted to make her a custom cup. So thank you all for tuning in. And next video, I will be showing you guys some new things I got from Timu. And what I will be doing in that video is gonna be awesome. I am excited to try those out as well and show you guys if they work as far as sublimation use or what. So thank you all for tuning in again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.